this uh, episode nine, what JJ and Chris have done is, it's a monumental task. They've had to really find a way to to encompass the entire Skywalker saga that's that's lasted for 40 plus years, and to find a way to meaningfully um, make it all feel both surprising and also inevitable. And I think that's exactly what they've done. I think once you get to the end, I, I know when I first read the script and I got to the end, I was so overcome with emotion because it, it, it had a finality to it, uh, which it's just hard to imagine that Star Wars could ever have that because I think one of the most amazing things about the Star Wars universe and, and really what George Lucas did from the very get-go is he made it feel like there was always so much story happening outside of the one you were watching. Every every prop, every character felt like they had it had its own long history and we were just getting to see a glimpse, uh, you know, by starting with uh, episode four uh, originally. Already you're starting in media res, you're starting in the middle of the story and so people could just pour their imagination into well, where, what was happening before, who is this person, where did this person come from? And, um, and I think the, the mystery of that is also what created such a phenomenon. And so to take all of that and to capture that spirit and bring it to a conclusion has been such an amazing task and I think they've done an incredible job. My first day on set was in the Millennium Falcon next to Jonas as Chewbacca and then these crazy new aliens in there and JJ just screaming all sorts of stuff at me to do this and do that and it just, uh, there's just an energy to it and also the thing that JJ brings is he brings so much fun, uh, you know, lots of music in between takes, he'll beatbox randomly onto a microphone, he'll just say really dumb jokes on the microphone and it just gives a looseness and, and it just reminds us that we're, we're also playing. We're playing in this imaginary world. And at the same time, it can get super serious and try to, tries to get to a real profound truth with these characters and what they're up against. But at the same time, also finds the joy of it. What's been great about uh, Daisy's Ray has been seeing the growth throughout these three films. I think when we first met her on The Force Awakens, she was just this this incredible raw potential. Uh, already had so much power within her, but she just had no way of harnessing it, ha had to discover that she even had that, and to witness that awakening. And then seeing that really challenged in the, the second film, and not understanding who she was, and, and really desperately searching for these questions. And now, we get to see the culmination of all of that pain and confusion and power uh, channeled uh, into just this ferocious and incredible uh, character and she just, her performance in it is astounding. I think the other thing with John is, and the exciting thing about episode nine is that this is this was a real chance for us to really work together. Thankfully, JJ and Chris Terrio were like, all right, we've kept them far apart enough. Let's put these guys together. And, uh, and so we really get a chance to, to interact and to, and to have fun and then also to get into a, to fights together. The tension really escalates between us the way that it does with, with people that are so close. And, uh, and I think through that, my friendship with him just, you know, got deeper and deeper. And I think you really see that come across in the movie. I was surprised by the, the passion of the fans and how that never seems to waver. That, you know, y you come to things like Celebration or D23 or Comic-Con and, and just the how much it means to people over the years and how that is also passed on to their kids and just the lineage and the history of the whole thing. And I'm also surprised that to, to feel like I am a real part of that lineage and that history as well and that it's not just these three movies uh, but that it is it has been this long beautiful arc over these last 40 plus years.